looked at how to build this agric plant app ui right so we've looked at how to build the home page the product details page and in this video we'll be looking at the services page so if you haven't watched the videos where we worked on both the home page and the product details page i'll leave a link to those videos in the description so that you take a look at them later right so in this particular video we'll be looking at how to build the services page now let's have a look at what we'll be building so i have my simulator running and if i bring it here we should have the services page right and this is what we'll be building it is not exactly the same as what we have over here because of a different asset but then the principle is still the same so we have just different images but then they are both um great items right so let's get right into it and then build this out so in android studio we have our project running and when we go to the services page we don't have anything here we just have a text in the center of the page that says services page so let's quickly navigate to our services page and in the services page which is this page we have a scaffold that is returning a center widget which has a text within it so basically we are just centering a text in the body of our scaffold right so what we want to do is when we look at the ui we have over here realize that this is a really um, simple ui all that we have over here is a grid view that has two columns and then some text on um, an image right so two columns then we have an image with a text on that image so in order to do that let's first define what we mean by a service so we can take each of this image here um, as a service right so a service has an image and then the name of that particular service so the first thing is to define what a service is so back in our directory we have um, a directory we call models and we are going to create a service model so we're going to create a new file called service and that is going to define what we call a service in our app so we have a class service right and this service will have a name and then it will have an image um sorry an image so a service can contain a lot of things so description price or any other properties that a service could have but in this particular ui according to the ui what we have of a service is just an image and then a text so i'm going to create a constructor for this so i'm going to generate um a named argument constructor like this um, we've generated a service class which is what defines a service in our app in order to have some data for our services so uh, we need to have some kind of image with name image with name like grid form in order to create that data let's come to our data directory and then create a dot file that is services um dot that's like this and this is going to be a list of services so final list services and we have to import our service so services like this and then import this service and you realize that there is a service also in flutter by default so in order to um make sure you are importing the right service check the import where the import is coming from so we are importing from our models um service right and now we are going to create a lot of these services so we have a service and the name is going to be um, something else right and then an image is going to be an asset like this this is how all our services will look like so you are going to have multiple of these um, classes in a list i don't want to write this so i'm going to copy them in like this right and now we have a list of services which just have these services and the image we are using is coming from our assets and then services directory so i have 
images over here for each service that we can use right so these are the images so we have to go to our pubspec.yaml file and then make sure that under our asset directory we also have asset services like this right so if you don't add this line um your images might not load if they are in different directory so asset services like this under your asset section and that will do the magic so back in our services page we are going to remove the center widget and then replace it with a grid view so we are going to have a grid view and then builder right so we are going to loop over a list of services and for each um service we are going to display a widget for it so within the grid delegate we're going to pass in a sliver grid delegate with fixed cost access count so all that this means is we just want to have a certain number of fixed cross access count which is the number of columns um we want to have for our grid right so the cross access count which is the number of columns is two and that's the only required um, parameter over here we can also pass in a lot of other parameters like um, child aspect ratio main axis extent and cross axis spacing which we will come to um, later but let's work on our item brother for now so our item brother is a function that must retain as a widget and for now i'm going to retain a container right so this will be what i'll be returning for my grid view and we don't see anything on our screen yet because we don't have anything in um, our container so let's first get something in our container so how do we then know the number of items we are looping over in order to provide that to the grid view we are going to pass an item count property over here and then that is going to be the number of services we have so services dot right which is the number of um items we are looping through now for each um service right so we can create a variable here to represent a service which is equal to our services index which is a single service we want to retain an image right so we can use the decoration property of the container and then pass in the box decoration like this and also we need an image property which takes in a decoration image there is an image property again which takes in an asset image and then that is going to be set to the asset um sorry service dot image so when we do this we should see our image on the screen right so we are just seeing some images here now the first thing we want to fix is realize this image over here is touching the edge of our screen right so we see some kind of um image extending to the edges of our screen and how we can fix that is by using the pardon property in the grid view so i'm going to pass in a pardon and then give it a value of edge insert dot all and then 16 which means pardon all around and i'm going to have a value of 16 for that now i want this image to stretch to fill the container so i'm going to pass in a box fit so i want it to cover the container if that's right so within the decoration image we should have a fit and then the value is going to be box fit dot cover right so this is what we are going to have now we need some gap also between these grids so in order to do that within the sliver grid delegate with fixed cross access count we can pass in cross access spacing and then cross uh, main access spacing as well so i'm going to pass in a value of 14 and then main access space into 14. so this will be the spacing and the cross axis and then the main axis right. so i realize these values will give me um, a better spacing now the next thing is i want to round these images a bit so i can use the border radius pretty in the container um so in the decoration we can apply a border radius and then give it a border radius that's circular with a value of 10 right so 
10 should be okay now we are going to get this um border radius so if you look at the image which is the ui we have we are slowly um getting there okay so if you look at the height of this image this image has more height than what we currently have right so in order to fix that there is another property in the sliver grid delegate which is child aspect ratio and that's the ratio of um the width and the height so the smaller the value if i'm right the much um taller if taller is the right word the much height we are going to get for our card so i'm going to pass in a value of 0 0.85 right which is a value i think looks good right and this is what we are going to get for our grid cards now the next thing we have to look at is putting the text on top of our container right and from the first video we looked at we realized that we can do that which is over here without using a stack widget so just within the container we are going to give it a child so within the container a child and the child is going to be our text so the text is going to be our service dot name and now we see that we have some text at the top here right for each service so let's align this text and we can align it using the alignment property in the container so alignment and then we set the alignment to bottom center like this and that is going to align the text to the bottom center one problem we have is the text is starting um the edge of the container so we can fix that using the padding property in the container so pardon and then give it edge and sec dot all and i think a value of 10 should be okay so let's give it a value of 10 realize the text move up a bit now it's difficult to see our text so we must make it in such a way that it's visible so what we are going to do is we are going to create this um glass morphic effect at the background of the text so we need to have some kind of container which the text will be on top of right and if you guess container was the widget you are right so we are going to wrap this text in a container and if we wrap it in a container what we are going to do is we want to give the container some decoration so decoration box decoration and then let's give it a background color so color not background color and then colors dot white and then so if you give it colors dot white like this well like this is what we are having now we can see our text But then we don't want a pure white text so we can add some opacity to this white so opacity and i'm going to give it a value of 0 0.2 right so more like um a very light glass effect so if i increase this to 0 0.5 maybe you can see it more so right we have this kind of light effect now i'm going to reduce it to 0 0.2 but before that let's add um, pardon within the container so we want um, the text to have some kind of breathing space so pardon within the container and that is going to be edge inserts dot symmetric so we're going to give equal pardon all around but then pardon on the vertical should be different from pardon on the horizontal so the vertical we are going to give a value of 5 and the horizontal we are going to have a value of 10 right, so when we do this we should have this over here now when we compare it to the actual design realize this has some kind of blur effect right so in order to achieve the same thing what we can do is so i want to add const here and what we can do to achieve the same thing is we want to wrap this container in another widget that is called um, backdrop filter so we want to have a certain um, blur filter at the back of this particular container right so anything at the back should have this kind of blur effect when we look at it and if it doesn't make sense don't worry 
um, when we when we are done it to make sense so the filter is going to be an image filter image filter dot blur and then we have to pass in uh, some x and then y values which is sigma um, x and sigma y so this is about um the blur the gaussian blur on the y and x um, axis so i'm going to pass in a value of five and all that we see is that our whole grid is blurred out right so we have everything being blurred here now in order to fix this what we are going to do is we are going to wrap this backdrop filter in another widget we call clip our rect right so if we wrap it in this and we save realize this thing is fixed and now we have this kind of um, blur effect so i don't know if i can zoom into this but i'll try to zoom in um, so realize that we have this kind of blur effect now let's reduce our opacity to 0.2 right and then let's do change the color of our text so in order to do that just within the child um text let's have a style the style is going to be a text style and we are going to change our color to be white also let's increase our font size to 16 so font size and then pass in the value of 16 like this and then let's give some border radius to this container right so border radius and then a value of border dot border dot um border radius dot circular and then a value of 10 and also give the same value to the clip rx so it has a border radius property if i'm right um so sorry i'm using clip rect here so let's have a clip r rect so which is um double r over here and that should have a border radius and a border radius of circular with the same value so we use 10 over here and we can use 10 here as well so this is what we are going to get we're not um, going to have this kind of blur effect which is the gaussian blur effect on our text right and then anything behind the container will have this kind of blur effect right so that's about the services page um if you're excited to see me build a cards page and the profile page um then please like subscribe and share the video as well if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section and i will attend to you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one